Home Remedies for Urinary Tract Infection Drink Water The most important things you can do when you have a UD. It can help flush out bacteria, and, almost, more importantly, it gives you something to actually push out when you pee. A lot of home remedies for urinary tract infections are drinks because you should always be flushing fluid through your system to give it a helping hand in getting rid of the nasty bacteria. Apply Heat If anti-inflammatory meds don't work for you, try a heating pad instead. Place the pad on a towel to avoid burning yourself, and center the heat over your bladder. Or, try a warm, moist compress. Low heat across your abdominal region can soothe the dull ache that is sometimes a symptom of a UD. Go pee. When you need to pee UD or not do it. If you hold it in, you increase the chance that bacteria will develop and multiply and cause an infection. If you do have a UD, every time you pee you get out a little bit more of that bacteria. Even though it can be uncomfortable, peeing every chance you get is a vital part of recovering. Vitamin C Vitamin C makes your urine more acidic, which fights bacteria in your urinary tract. If you have an active UT, taking vitamin C supplements may help. Drink soda. No, not soda as in a sugary soft drink, soda as in baking soda, that miraculous substance that can help anything from heartburn to, of course, UTs. Baking soda is an alkaline substance the opposite of acidic which means it can help neutralize or lessen the acidity of your urine. If you find yourself resisting the urge to pee because of a burning sensation, baking soda can help ease the discomfort. Cucumbers This is an easy one for me I love cucumbers. I don't know why, but they're one of my favorite snacks. While other kids at lunch were busy swapping candy bars, I was eyeing the cucumber slices. Thanks to their high water content, cucumbers are a great way to get to get extra fluid through your system when you find yourself having a hard time drinking enough water. Chew some celery seeds. Celery seeds also act as a diuretic, due mainly to one of the constituents of celery oil, butylphthalide. If parsley water just isn't your thing, chewing a handful of celery seeds can help increase the production of urine. If you want to get some more fluid, make celery seed water. Blueberries Blueberries are from the same genus as cranberries, vaccinium, and may also help ward off potential UDs by affecting the fimbria of the bacteria trying to attach itself to the urinary tract. Blueberry juice isn't as easy to come by as cranberry juice, and is usually mixed with things like grape or apple juice, so try consuming these tasty berries whole instead. Ginger tea. No less dealing with any condition that involved any kind of inflammation would be complete without ginger. Its chemical makeup allows it to block prostaglandin synthesis, a process which creates little messengers. Prostaglandins communicate about a variety of biological processes, such as inflammation. They also transmit pain signals to neurons. It can therefore help to prevent inflammation, reduce current inflammation, and reduce pain. This is the same process that OTC anti-inflammatory medications just without all the nasty side effects. Cranberry juice Cranberry juice is a bit further down than you might expect on a list of home remedies for a UD, but its helpfulness is not set in stone as much as people seem to think. The idea behind it is that the bacterium that causes UDs have fimbria, hair-like, appendages that make it possible to cling on to the lining of the urethra. The combination of acidic substances in the juice may make it harder for the fimbria to stick to things, thus reducing chance of infection and or making it harder for bacteria to multiply. Horseradish Originally from Europe and a member of the cabbage family, horseradish is known for spicy, pungent, sinus clearing spread made from the white roots of the plant. A natural compound in the plant, Aloisothia sinate, ATSC, has a strong antimicrobial effect. While cranberries and blueberries may be bacterial static, meaning they inhibit the reproduction of bacteria, ATK is bactericidal, which means it kills bacteria outright. It does so by attacking the cellular membrane of the bacterium, making it impossible to be viable or survive.